What is going on guys? My name is Bryce, better known as YTS or well, uh in the past YCPD. Anyways, um today I'm gonna do something that I have been working on for literally three days now and I'll get into why it took that long in a second. But uh this is gonna be the video showing how to get the slick top version of the marked um Vapid Stanler police car in GTA. Uh basically the marked slick top uh, Crown Vic. Anyways, um, so what you're going to need to do is be in single player, obviously, and the unfortunate part to this is you're most likely going to need to restart your game. That's what I did, that's why it took me so long. So, as long as you do not have the mission that's going to be shown here, uh, the Life Invader mission, if I can remember the name, I'll put it on screen. Um, as long as you don't have that done, you can continue your game but if you don't or, or sorry if you do have that done you're going to need to restart your game um so anyways finish this mission and as you're driving around you'll get a call from amanda saying that she is basically getting arrested for shoplifting um accept that and drive over to where she is now when you get there it'll be saying or sorry the officer there will be putting her into the back of a police car and you have to steal the car and take her home essentially um so most likely when you do show up there there will be a police car there with kind of like a glitched out uh normal LED light bar on the top. Um, so if that's the case, you're going to need to want to fail, uh, whether that's getting shot, blowing up the car, whatever you can do. Um, so just fail the mission. Now, for me, uh, on the second time trying after I failed the first time, I got the uh, slick top version. So when I got the slick top version, um, what you're going to need to do after that is take it to your garage, finish the mission, and when you're there, when you finish, she'll say get rid of the car. So what you're going to need to do from there is drive onto the streets as I do here, switch over to Franklin, um, and drive a little bit, try to get up over to the same-ish area Michael is, switch back to Michael, and just do pretty much what I'm doing on screen now. This just lets you transfer the car from Michael to Franklin. Now when you have it as Franklin, what you're going to need to do next is drive it to Franklin's house garage. Pull it in there and that'll essentially save the car. I think I drive around here to show that it does save. Um, so the next thing that you're going to want to do, assuming you want to use it in director mode like I do, is you're going to need to buy one of the single player garages. Now they're $30,000, which might not seem like a lot if you've played the game to the end, but if you remember earlier on, it takes a long time. So originally, I was trying to do taxi missions to try to get it. Um, so as long as you're playing as Michael and have over $5,000, uh, there's an easier way to get it, which is just getting... Um, one of the hidden crates. Uh, so I'll try to put something on screen now. I'll also have something linked in the description with more information on how to get it. Um, but essentially you gotta dive underwater, go to this submarine, and there will be a crate or a briefcase that has um, $25,000 in it. So once you get that and you have over $30,000, drive over by the garage and then essentially do the same switching car from Franklin to uh, or sorry, from that we did earlier with switching the car from Michael to Franklin. Just do it in reverse, and then take that car when you're Michael, put it in the garage, and there you go. You have the um, slick top police car. I'm going to use it as a supervisor vehicle. You have the slick top police car that you can use in direct mode, and that you can respawn, repair, do whatever you want, um, and use in police videos. That's what I'm going to do. It's a very, very unique vehicle. This is the only way to get it, period. Um, now, I was, I'll, I'll throw this in here too, I was kind of uh, worried about doing this video because I did not want Rockstar to patch this. This is something that does help the players. It's an amazing vehicle to have, um, and I don't want them to patch it. But this has been in the game since the beginning, pretty much. Um, it's always been this glitched out car, it's always been able to get the slick top version of it. So I don't think they're going to patch it, so you don't have to kind of worry about that. Um, but in case they do, I'll update this video. Either way, that is pretty much how to get it, that's how to save it. Uh, I'll have some more gameplay of it if I can remember to. Again, like I said, other things will be on the screen. I may have fast forwarded some of the parts, but I didn't want to cut it to make it look like I was faking it. Um, so yeah, uh, other than that, take a look at the description. The description should have more information. And have a great day, guys, and hopefully you can enjoy this car as much as I will.